Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the HP ZBook Fury 15 G7 and what's inside of it. Accessing this laptop's internals is extremely easy. Just flick the slider on the bottom panel, and slide the panel away from the chassis. Then, you can unplug the 94 Watt Hours battery pack with the help of two further sliders. Storage-wise, there is a maximum of 4 M.2 PCIe slots, which is insane. However, two of them require an adapter, which HP sells separately. Otherwise, you can connect a 2.5-inch SATA device in their place. So, when it comes to memory, there are a total of 4 RAM SOTOM slots. Two are accessible from the bottom, while the other two are located beneath the keyboard. The total amount of memory supported is 128GB of non-ECC, and 64GB of ECC. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. To access two of the Sodom slots, and one M.2 slot, you need to remove the keyboard. To do so, you have to undo three marked Phillips head screws, and then push on the open space around one of the fans. Before you proceed, make sure you have unplugged the black and orange connector from the touchpad. Then, reattach the bottom panel, turn the laptop around, and carefully pry the keyboard with a plastic tool. Keep in mind that there are two further ribbon cables that need to be removed, one for the backlight, and one for the keyboard, itself. While HP states that this device will come with a vapor chamber cooling solution, we suppose that it will only feature on the top tier specs, since ours had a more conventional design, including a couple of heat pipes. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.